friend could be yeah. car racing, you know, lots of speed, lots of noise, lots of men driving cars quickly. Well, how about drag boat racing? It's pretty much the same thing and its popularity is on the rise in Australia. We are joined now by world champion Scott Price, who is in Australia to contest, you're from America, and in Australia to contest the national championships. Welcome. Thank you very much. Now, how does a, a landlocked Kentucky cattle farmer end up racing drag boats, Scott? Oh, geez. Uh, pretty much we need to do something every weekend to occupy our time, so we go racing. And, Where uh, do you find water near home? Well, the closest body of water is probably about 800 miles away. So we have you, a... you obviously love this sport. Oh, yeah. Can you remember the first time you did it? It's been about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. started racing a ski boat for uh, a couple of years, and then I kind of worked my way up to an amateur type boat for three years. Then we went pro about five years ago, and we've done the uh, first couple of years. It was kind of tough, but we kind of worked everything out and managed to come out on top. And let's talk about how quickly you go, because this is mind-bogglingly fast, isn't it? About five and a half seconds and a quarter mile, 225 miles an hour. 225 miles an hour, and that's, and in fact, that was the speed you set when you set the world record, wasn't it? That's right. Mm -hmm. And how fast is that in kilometres an hour, just so that... 363 get... kilometres. <laughs> that's fast. <laughs> What's this here that we're looking at? Is this you racing? Uh, that is a run from uh, Marble Falls, no, excuse me, that's a run from Melbourne. Yep. We raced uh, last weekend there. Yeah. Set and... a uh, new uh, Australian record. Are you liking racing in Australia? Are the conditions very different or is water water the world over? Uh, pretty much water's water. <laughs> air's air. <laughs> let's look at this boat because this is an amazing piece of machinery, this boat. What, let's have a look under the hood. <laughs> this is a 540 cubic inch uh, Walt Austin motor built in Seattle. It's about eight and a half liters in size. It's supercharged, which here's a supercharger right here. It's injected with an injector here. Runs on alcohol. Runs on alcohol. Alcohol. How about that? There are so many things I could say, and I just four and a half up. gallons of fuel in uh, five and a half seconds. And in those five and a half seconds, do you get a sense of going more than three hundred? What was it? Three hundred and sixty kilometers an hour. Do you, do you get a sense of how quickly you're going, or is it just too, too pretty fast? much a pretty much a blur? <laughs> <laughs> so why do you do it? Oh, it's good, we have a good time. Uh, uh, probably the people, I would say, the people that you meet and. Uh, We've raced uh, all over the country and Canada, and now we're here in Australia, and it, it just we've had a really good time with the boat. I imagine you have to be very safety conscious. I mean, if we look in, in this little cockpit here, you've got roll bars and all these things. This is a uh, breakaway uh, capsule. It's designed to break away. It's held in with four bolts. Right. It's designed to contain the, uh, the driver in case there is a, uh, an accident. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a Molly, Pro Molly roll cage uh -huh. with a Kevlar shell around it, and we use a uh, windshield of an F-14 uh, fighter and then it's cut to fit. Good heavens, and you've got body armor on. Right, well not body armor, this is a flotation oh, uh, is suit it? right here in oh, case okay. I have to go for a swim, but okay. I don't intend to ever use it. Uh, we do use an air system that is strapped onto the helmet in case the uh, boat does go under uh -huh. and it oh, you've clips got the right on your mask, mask and clips right on the helmet there. Wacko, you're practically a fighter pilot, Scott. Thank you very much for being with us and much success with your stay here. Thank you very much, Tracy. Scott Price will have news and weather after the break.